Well, Jamie, well, we worry about our wallets and wonder what's going to happen tomorrow morning when that opening bell rings. The uh, shutdown still affects those in Washington. Let's check into the Capitol now where Steve, uh, Peter Ducey is live at the World War II Memorial with more on this shutdown. Hi, Peter. Hi, Eric. And there's a big crowd here, a very emotional crowd on the sidewalk uh, in between the Washington Monument, which is to my left, and the World War II Memorial, which is just behind me. Uh, they started gathering here before dawn. There are definitely several hundred people here at this point. Uh, we've heard many different speakers. Uh, the, the theme is the same. The people here are very upset with the way that veterans have been treated during the government shutdown. And at one point, just before folks started uh, stepping up to the mics, the pro protesters took it upon themselves to actually take down the metal barricades that surrounded the entire memorial. Uh, they took down those barricades, they lifted them over their heads, and they took them down the... Uh, around the corner and they stacked them all up and now they're just laying there in a heap very ironically underneath the sign that the Park Service had put up that said that this memorial is closed except for First Amendment activities. Now across town uh, on some of the Sunday shows lawmakers are talking about this government shutdown, about the impact it's having on people and the prospect for reopening the government. Listen to this. To think that someone would inflict this much pain. This is what's hard for me to believe. I didn't sign up for this type of duty. I didn't sign up for public service to put undue pain on people. And it's hard for any of us to sit here and accept that. I have faith in our leadership. I, I believe that they'll come together in a rational way and fix this problem. But across the aisle, some Republicans are now saying Senate Democrats, like Senator Manchin from West Virginia, are the ones to blame for the government continuing to be closed. I think the Senate Democrats have pulled back at the uh, request of the White House and now may be uh, trying to look at uh, sort of busting the, the budget caps that were established back in 2011. So I think we're in a status quo. I do think we will see our way through this, but uh, the last 24 hours have, have not been good. So you can see a big crowd here, a loud crowd here in Washington at the the way that the organizers have things set up, they are hoping to have similar, uh, maybe not this big, but they want people in small towns to show up to their local monument, to their local war memorial, so that the word uh, gets out across the country uh, about the, about their, uh, their beef, basically, with the government treating veterans and active duty servicemen and women very poorly during the shutdown. Back to you. Well, Peter, bless them. And in the top of the hour at 12 o'clock and two hours from now, we'll be talking to a senator on if he thinks there could be a deal. Thank you, Peter. Jamie?